Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. And today it's finally time to solve the 2018 trick lock. All of these trick locks have been designed by Louis Kulin from the Netherlands. They are 3D printed out of nylon. And if you're interested, of course, you can contact the creator of these trick locks by, by the email I put in the video description. This video is not sponsored or anything. I just recommend this because I'm absolutely convinced here that these are great puzzles. If you see the previous episodes, I think you agree. And I paid and bought these myself, okay? In the previous episode, if you saw them, you know we solved the 2015, we saw the 2016, the 2017, which was the hardest one for me to solve and which is my personal favorite, but now goodbye. And this time we're gonna focus here on the 2018. I solved it already previously and recorded the intro afterwards, therefore I know it's again a brilliant mechanism inside. Nevertheless, I think this one is, or at least for me, it was the easiest one of these four puzzle locks, but still worth every single cent. And if you would like to see how to solve this thing, just check out the spoiler break and afterwards we are ready to go. So, okay, it's final time for the last puzzle lock in the series, the Trick Lock 2018. Comes with the key up here, obviously, which cannot be removed. The key can be moved separately here from the shackle, but I cannot get it out. Shackle is still fixed and there is down here something like a disc or something. That might be rotated. Oh, I think I rotated it already. Ah, okay, and I noticed something. So the disc is somehow connected to the pin here inside of the lock. So as you can see, they are interlocking now. But if I holding the puzzle like so, I'm able to rotate it. And it seems if I look inside here, it seems there is some kind of a notch in this disc that's going from here, from down here, until the middle. So what I will do now is I will get the disc out here to on the bottom side and carefully try to, yeah, this works actually, because these small notches here, they will get stuck here on the pin. So I need to turn it upright and carefully, very carefully twist it that I can pass the pin in here and get this notch aligned with the pin, which is the case right now. As you can see now, there is some pin, so I'm pretty, I'm progressing here very much compared to the other ones. Now I can lift the shackle and I can take out the key. Is this already the solution? Would be by far the easiest one. Okay, okay, I think I got the point here. You know what? I think I already understood how to do it. Let's see. I will try to rotate the disc now with the key. No, still in the same place as before. Hmm. No, the disc does not move at all. It only moves up and down if I move the shackle. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe I move it only halfway up because if I move it halfway up I can get still inside here of this oh no also not possible okay forgot about it <laughs> oh okay so I just yes that's maybe maybe that's the trick I put in the key because I noticed if you look inside the keyhole here you can see there's a little additional material in here but if I look on the side in here there is no material down here and also not on the other side here you can see it a little bit better what I'm talking about and if I leave the disc down here still I could pull it up but I leave it down here I put in the key 
but not all the way that it interfere all the way that it interfere with the disc just a little bit and then i will be able to rotate the key by 180 degrees get it down now i pull up the disc and now i can rotate the disc with the key and got stuck again but i'm i progressed by one step <laughs> okay so what can i do now flip it around again maybe actually i thought i i'm already done but now i'm a little con bit confused here what to do next it seems the disc is completely fixed now Okay, I push it back in a little bit again, but it does not really help. Ah, you know, I saw I saw myself already solving this in record time, but uh, yeah, now I'm completely lost and get stuck again, having no idea how to proceed. Good one. Okay, I have to admit, good one. <laughs> From the bottom side, if you look in this gap here, you can look inside, but it does not really help. You can see the disc in here, and on both sides, you can see that the shackle is somehow interlocking or interfering with the disc. The disc is holding this one here in place, but actually, I have no idea. There's one thing that might have something with the solution, and this is this little rib here because there is one beside the shackle over here but on the other side there is nothing it's only open and i'm sure this has something to do with the solution but the question is how it wants to get out but it's still too wide ah okay if i maybe use the gap Move the gap here around this rib. Yeah, that's it. That was the trick. And I think I solved this in record time, considering how long it took me here for the other locks. And this is brilliant again, okay? So, how did it work? The last piece I was able to take out because I positioned this notch here at the rib and this enabled me to whoop, to create enough space move the disc slightly over here and create enough space to pull out here the shackle over here and on the other side i think this was pretty straightforward nevertheless i would like to so, uh, show you again how to do it just step by step and therefore i assemble it again Okay, got it back in the assembled condition and now pretty much straightforward how to solve it. We align the disc, the notch in the disc with this pin. Okay, this enables us to pull out the shackle, the first step, take out the key, take the key over here, get down again, inside here, twist it around by 180 degrees. Do not put it all the way in, but just slightly. Then I twist it around 180 degrees, push it down, to be able to pass the the disc with the with the key then afterwards i pull this one up again this enables me now to to um, rotate the disc by 180 degrees and then i just take can take the key outside and now i only need to rotate the disc by 200 and yeah around about 270 degrees which i do like so that the notch, which is now up here, will align with the little rib over here close to the shackle. Can be a little bit fiddly, but it's working actually pretty well. And what is so amazing on this puzzle, from my point of view, is just the fact that the whole mechanism inside here, which make it so complicated to solve, and you can see that's it, 
The whole mechanism actually inside here is made out of three parts, yeah? The housing, which is also of course part of the mechanism. The shackle, which is also part due to these little cutouts here. And the simple wheel. So overall, four parts which I used to create a nice solving sequence. Amazing puzzle. A little bit easier than the previous three, I have to admit. But still, I like this one also very much and can really recommend it. And please let me know what you think about this puzzle. Was it this time too easy from your point of view? Would you have made it? What do you think about this puzzle? What do you think about my channel? If you like it, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell if you would like to get any notification. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, keep on puzzling!